So as we get started today this video is divided into chapters. If you wanna skip at any point just look at the sliding bar underneath the plating window and you can see the chapters to skip ahead. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we are moving on in the stitch sampler and this here is on page number two and it is the next one up and it's the diamonds popcorn motif. So you see that it's uh, richly popping out here. So it's a nice uh, uh, square in order to have, I don't know what the multiple for this is because of the uniqueness of it, but we are gonna go through this line by line as we work our way through. Every other line that you see once you get this started is the same instruction and we'll be covering that when we hit that as well. So the back side is flat just in case you are lying this down on a surface is that the popping side pops only on the front. So you'll be using your five millimeter size H crochet hook and whatever yarn that you decided to use for this stitch sampler and the border as mentioned in the very start of this whole series. It will be that separate tutorial and it will be listed in the video uh, description of this video and a pinned comment. So without further ado, let, enough yibber yabber. <laughs> let's get at her and let's begin now. So let's begin with a slip knot and you're going to start and a chain two at the beginning of the row counts as a half double crochet in this particular pattern. So we're going to begin and you're gonna chain 26. So one, two, three, four, five. Go all the way to 26. Meet me back here in just a moment. Now that my little square is ready to go, got my 26 on there, we're going to go first row. This is considered the right side of the project. Now you're gonna go third chain from the hook. So just count back. So one, two, three. Go to the back hump of that third chain and I want you to half double crochet in each of the chains going all the way back to the very beginning. So just half double crochet in your chain all the way and I'll see you at the end of that row and we'll move on to row number two next. So I've now come all the way to the end. So going forward in this tutorial when I get to the end I'm already gonna be turned and ready for the next row. So make sure you do finish all the way to the end of the instructions. So I'm going to move on to row number two. In row number two we're going to turn our work and you're going to do a single crochet. So chain one and do one single crochet in each of the stitches all the way back and do not forget that turning chain at the very end of this row. So that's something that you have to worry about every time you do a single crochet um, row here and that's something that you just have to think about. So I'll see you at the end of this row in a moment. So when you get to the end of these rows, don't forget that turning one here is also a stitch. So don't forget that and if you skip it then you're going to have a triangle. <laughs> so let's turn it work and let's do row number three and now we're gonna start with the, the popcorn which is pretty easy. You just gotta make sure that you're counting correctly. Let's begin. So let's begin row number three. So we're gonna start our popcorn. So chain two is the first stitch out. So this means that the very next one is where you need to go. So once you get that first one, chain two, skip the first single crochet which is the one that we're sitting in and then it says one half double crochet in each of the next 11. So let's just count those out together. So we're gonna half double crochet. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Once you have your 11 in, the next one is a popcorn. So how you do the popcorn is that you're going to double crochet a total of five times in the next stitch. So let's count those together. So one, two, three, four, and five. So once you get all that five it looks like a shell. Take the hook out, go from the front and go to the first one of the grouping of five and jam the hook in the first stitch going back, grab the loop and pull and you need to chain one to lock that popcorn into position. So in this particular case now you have 12 half double crochets left. So all you just need to do then is just go and do your half double crochets to the end. If you wanna count the 12 that may be a good idea at the first just so you're used to it. I'm not gonna bother, it's my second time through this but that just make sure you have double crochet to the end and then turn your work and we'll get ready for row number four. So I'm coming up to the end of number three and don't forget the turning chain counts as 
a stitch. You will always have 25 stitches going across this thing. So just make sure that um, you have 25 each and every time and that's something you have to think about. So we're now going to move on to row number four. So turn your work and let's get ready. Rows number four and alternative rows. So four, six, eight, ten, and etc. These are the rows that are on the back side of the project. They're always gonna be single crochet. So I only have to show it to you once. So going forward I'm going to give you the instruction for the front side and then I'm gonna say do the alternative. This is what the alternative side is. So the alternate side. So just chain up one and do one single crochet in each. Make sure that you do have your 25 uh, going all the way across. So if you're missing a stitch then chances are you might be jumping too fast over the the popcorn area and if you have too many then maybe then you're adding in an extra stitch where you shouldn't. But always make sure that you end up with 25. So please do this alternate alternate uh, row and I will be back in just a moment and we'll kick off number five in just a moment. And there is the top of the popcorn just so you can identify it and then you just have to peel it back and just look where the stitches are going. So if you notice here, see how this stitch appears after the half double crochet. So when you see a half double crochet here, the next one is right there. And just make sure you're kind of paying attention to that. But either way, make sure that you end up with 25 at the end of these alternate rows. I'll be back in just a moment. Turn your work and we'll get ready for number five. So before I turn, make sure that you did go into that chain two turning chain before turning and let's begin number five. You're going to chain two which counts as your first half double crochet and starting in the very next stitch you are going to put a half double crochet in the next nine. So let's count those out together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And a little tip I wanna share with you. When you chained two that counts as a stitch and these nine that gives you the total number of ten. So after you get the final popcorn it says to half double crochet a certain amount to the end on the other side. It's the same number when you think about it. So it's not nine it's ten because it, you have to include that chain two. So once you get that uh, the first uh, nine in that you have after you've done your chain two is that you'll run into your first popcorn. So it's five double crochet to do your first popcorn. And then you'll pull a hook out and going in, pull through, chain one to lock. And now the next three in a row are each a half double crochet. So we have one, two, and three. And then your popcorn is the next. So this is the bottom part of the diamond. So you will see it starting to build out. Okay, once you get that done, just make your bobble, sorry your popcorn, chain one and then there should be a total of ten stitches left. So if you're not sure just count it and see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that means that it's right. So just half double crochet yourself all the way to the end and then do your alternate, alternate row of the single crochet going back and then I'll pick you up on number seven in just a moment. So you'll notice in the instruction it says chain one, one half double crochet in each of the next seven and then at the end it's gonna be uh, one half double crochet in each of the next eight. So I believe that there's a mistake here. So this is the reason for tutorial. So I think it should be chain two and then you're going to do this, uh, seven half double crochets. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. So if you did chain one and then you did one uh, seven half double crochets then you'll be missing a stitch. So then coming into the next one is your first popcorn. So one, two, three, four, and five. Release that, pick it up, pull through chain one to lock. And then it states to go in here and it says one half double crochet in the next seven. So it's gonna get you over. So just start with the next one after it. So seven, so one, two, three, four, five, 
six and seven and then next one is a popcorn. So it's gonna be five double crochets. And then make your popcorn, pull through, chain one to lock and then there should be eight half double crochets left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. So do that and do your alternate going back of your single crochet and I'll meet you and we'll pick up on number nine. So I believe that nine and eleven also have the same mistake at the beginning. It should be chain two not chain one. I'll see you on number nine in just a moment. So let's begin row number nine. There is a mistake at the time of, of doing this video. So it should be chain two not chain one. So chain two and then you start. So it says one half double crochet in each of the next five. So let's count those out together. So one, two, three, four and five and then the popcorn is in the next one. So let's do that. Okay and then make your popcorn and then close it with the chain one and now for the next eleven in a row are each a half double crochet. So let's count those out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and eleven and now the popcorn is next. Okay and then close it and now if your math is right then the very end there should be six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So please do that. Turn around, do your alternate row coming back and then I'll see you on number eleven next. So we're ready for number eleven. So just kind of shape it if you want to but we will, you may wanna block this later anyway. So this is the halfway point. So we're going to end up with the uh, popcorn on both sides here and then something in the middle. So let's begin this. So you chain two. So it, should, it says chain one in the pattern. It should say chain two and then one half double crochet in the next three. So we have one, two and three and then the popcorn goes in. Okay and close that and lock it. And now it says to um, do something twice. So we're gonna half double crochet in the next seven and, and then uh, do a popcorn and we'll do that twice. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven and so then the popcorn goes in the next one. Just off camera I'm using spare yarn today so I'm gonna be changing color shortly and you don't need to do that. It's just I'm running out of yarn on my spare ball. First world problem right? Okay so we're gonna close that, chain one to lock and then do another seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and then the popcorn will be in the next. Okay and you'll close that, lock it and then the last four in a row are each a half double crochet. So I need you to do the alternative row going back and now we're going to start reversing the instructions and starting to make it more narrow again because we're now at the, the uh, maximum part of the diamond. So please uh, do the alternative and I'll see you on row number 13 in just a moment which is the same as row number nine. So let's go on to row number 13 which is the same as number nine. So we're doing the instructions now backwards to get it back to the point. So let's begin. I'm looking at number nine. So just chaining up one or uh, two 
the instructions are currently wrong at the time of filming as I mentioned. And now you're going to put in a half double crochet in the next five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then the popcorn. Okay, close that with a, close it and then chain one to lock. Now the next 11 in a row are each a half double crochet. So we'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And then the next one is a popcorn. And then the last six that we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. The last six are a half double crochet. And so then you'll turn around, do the alternate, uh, alternate row. Sorry about that. I keep misenunciating that. Um, just do that and then I'll meet you back here and then we'll continue on to row number 15 which is the same as row number seven. Moving on to row number 15 which is the same as number seven. So we're gonna get more narrow as far as the diamond shape. So you're gonna chain two and you are going to put in a half double crochet in the next seven. So let's count those out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then the next one here is the popcorn. So that it's ready to go and then we're gonna half double crochet in the next seven again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then do the popcorn. One, sorry there's a uh, popcorn is made up of five double crochets. And now the remaining at the end here, there should be a total of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Please do that and then the alternative row going back and I'll see you back here on row number 17 which is the same as row number five. Moving on to row number 17, chain two and then half double crochet in the next nine. So let's count those. So one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then do the popcorn. Chain one to lock and then it states to do the next um, half double crochet in each of the next three. So one, two, and three and then another popcorn. And then the last 10 are the final. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So please do that and then the alternate row going back with the single crochet and meet me back here in just a moment. Moving on to number 19 which is the same as number three. So chain two and then half double crochet in the next 11. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And then the next one is the popcorn. So just close that. And now the next 12 in a row should each be a single, or sorry, half double crochet. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. I just wanna make sure I count that again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So we got there 12 in into the final. And then please do an alternate row going back and then I'll do number 21 with you in just a moment. And finally let's do row number 21. This is the finals, chain two and then do one half double crochet in each of the stitches all the way to the end. This will then conclude this particular square and you can then do your border. So remember there's a different video for that. Just see the video description for the link for that and it's also in the pinned comments of this video and this will then conclude. So I'll see you at the end of this row in just a second. So now that I'm at the very end, let's just quickly recap on how to fasten off. So just pull it loop through. I would grab your tapestry and you don't get rid of any loose ends that you do have if you've been changing color, anything like that, even the beginning strand and just throw it through a tapestry needle just to hide it better. Once you have that done, just weave it through. Stay on the back side of the project so that it's more hidden on the back. And so pull through but don't change the shape and then go back through a separate area. So that's the second time and back through a different area one more time and that should be in there for good. So do that with any loose ends you have. Proceed to the border next to finish this off and this here is the square and it's really neat. Actually I kind of like it multiple color like that too. <laughs> Who would have thought right? Um, you may wanna block these as well so you can damp block them and set them down and therefore they'll go with all the other blocks that you have. Have a good one. We hope to see you again real soon. Bye-bye.